that Jay Wright has done. Who you would like to handle it, I would say Grant is going to pop to the backcourt. And then you get your, your organization set. You must think offensive rebound if you're the catch. The inbound to Grant. Here's the ball screen and the slip. Grant into the lane, draws contact, Cunningham follows, Villanova by one. The dribble did it. LSU has a timeout remaining. They won't use it. Fort for three. No good. Villanova wins. Incredible. What a, what a comeback from 21 down with eight minutes to go. They come back to win by one. Woo. Just extraordinary what they've been able to run once Randolph went out. The ball screen. The impact of handling the ball, getting to lane, creating, everybody attracted, and then the cleanup, Cunningham in the right spot to conclude it. Oh, how good was that? And counter that if you're an LSU person. I mean, that is, you can see the expression on Randolph. Randolph fouled out with about five minutes to go. And here's the final shot, the miss by Grant. And look at Cunningham. He slips, and because of the double on the ball, there's no coverage to check him out. That is some perseverance in a game that could have been lost in the first half, quite frankly. Tremendous involvement, spirit, spunk, and here it is. They even challenge to the end, and you want to make sure you rebound. And who's there? The guy who called the timeout on the loose ball, Reggie Reddy, coming up with one of the biggest caroms, at least, of this season thus far. 54-33 was the score. LSU with 8.33 to go. Villanova closes on a 35-13 run and beats LSU 68-67. What a great way to close out the Pizza Hut Big East SEC Invitational. Coming up next on ESPN, it's Sports Center. For Bill Raftery and Alan Hopkins, our entire ESPN crew, I'm Dave Pash. So long from Philly. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. An improbable Villanova win as we go to SportsCenter.